It's 3 a.m. on a Saturday night, and you're laying in your bed watching YouTube shorts. And you can feel that you're slowly starting to fall asleep. Your eyes are slowly closing, but you want to keep scrolling. So you keep scrolling and scrolling and scrolling until you finally decide to put your phone down and go to sleep. But just a few hours later, you wake up because the sun is beaming into your bedroom. And the first thing you do is grab your phone. You check all of your notifications and somehow end up scrolling on Instagram. You see a hot Instagram model and you get horny. <laughs> uh... It reminds you of something and then you do it. And after it's done, you continue scrolling and scrolling and scrolling until it's around 10 o'clock when you decide to go downstairs. You go downstairs feeling like a little gremlin and you have to choose between eating a nice healthy breakfast with eggs or eating a shitty breakfast with cereal. And of course you take the easier option, which is just eating the cereal. This is the life for many teenagers my age. And what you and so many others don't understand is that one bad habit leads into another. You scrolling on your phone led to you finding that Instagram model, led to you doing that thing, led to you eating the shitty cereal. As opposed to if we started the day off right by meditating, gratitude journaling, working out, drinking some water, eating a healthy breakfast, we would have had a solid base and it would have set us up 10 times more better than us doing all those shitty bad habits at the very start of the day. What you guys have to understand from bad habits is that they continue like a domino effect. And yes, these bad habits are extremely hard to break, but I'm going to give you the top three pieces of advice that helped me to break the bad habits and start doing good ones. The reason you do bad habits is because something cues them to start. And this can most commonly be known as the feedback loop, where it starts with a cue, then it goes to the craving, then it goes to the response, and then the reward. The cue is you seeing the Instagram model. The craving is you wanting to do it. The response you know what it is. And the reward, you also know what it is, bro. It sounds really weird, but you have to remove these cues from your life. And if I'm seeing the cue because of social media and Instagram, then it just makes sense for me to delete it. And you can apply this to any bad habit. So the first tip is to remove these cues from your life. If I have an addiction with chocolate and candy, and I have a whole bunch of candy in my bedroom, then of course I'm gonna keep eating the candy and chocolate because it's right in front of me every time I go to my bedroom. Now this also goes for good habits, because if you have a bad habit of forgetting to do a good habit, then it just makes sense for you to make the good habits easier and make the cues more apparent. So when you see them, you're actually more likely to do them. So if I wanted to start meditating every morning, then it just makes sense for me to give myself a cue every single morning. So if I wanted to start meditating, I would write on a piece of paper, meditate. That is the cue. Then I'll have a craving of the rewards and feeling focused and better after. Then the response is me doing it, meditating, and the reward is getting the benefit out of it and feeling accomplished because I did something I wanted to do. If you want a journal, put the journal right on your desk. So as soon as you wake up, you see the journal right on top of your keyboard and you're going to be more likely to do it because you don't have to go and grab it. You could have the pen there already so you, the pen's ready to write. You could even have it open to the page so as soon as you wake up and you want a gratitude journal, you come to your desk, it's open, the pen is right there. You click the pen and write down. It, you can make it so easy for yourself that way there's literally no way you can mess it up. So that's the second tip. Make the cues for the good habits really apparent so you're more likely to drop the bad habits. And the third tip I have for you is to plan your day the night before with a specific time. So even if you don't do any good habits right now, you still have habits that you do every single day. So it's getting out of bed, drinking water, eating food, brushing your teeth, making your bed if you're not a complete slob. And you can build off these and stack habits on top of each other to allow you to do, start doing many more good habits. So you can put these habits in between. So if I have making my bed and drinking water here, in between I can put meditating and then before that I can put gratitude journaling. And you can use it like a formula. If meditate, then gratitude journal. Or if brush teeth, meditate. If meditate, gratitude journal. It can be like an if then statement or whatever it's called in coding. Wait, when you do one, it cues the other thing and allows you to start doing it. Strategy or technique is called habit stacking where you would write it out on a piece of paper just like I did all right here. And you just stack the habits on top of each other, meditating, journaling, normal habit that you always do, make your bed or something. Or if you wake up, make your bed, meditate. Or wake up, make your bed, push-ups. You can stack them on top of each other, that way you're more likely to do one. Because one leads into another, like I said, the domino effect. If you do one habit, it's gonna lead into the other. So if you continue to, so if you continue to stick with these, it's gonna make, if you continue to stick with these, it's gonna make them so much better. And it's just gonna make no time for you to lay in your bed doing nothing, like scrolling on your phone, because you're gonna be busy, you're gonna be locked in, you're gonna have stuff to do. You're not gonna wanna lay in your bed when you're actually achieving your goals and doing hard tasks. If you truly listen to this message and follow the advice, I can assure you that you're gonna be able to break most of your bad habits and you're gonna be able to start a whole bunch of good habits. If you guys want a video on a whole bunch of good habits or anything like that, just comment them below, subscribe for more, and keep pushing yourself, brother.